welcome to your mat. Um, everybody, you can face forward at the top of your mat, but I'm just going to turn this way just so you can see. We're going to begin standing this evening. So just settle in, feet hips width apart, a little bit of um, shoulder mobility work. Put your hands onto your shoulders and start breathing deeply. Inhale to bring those elbows up. Exhale, wind and down. So you just go nice and slow, go at your own pace. Just enjoy being in your body, being with your breath, easing out the tension from your day. Wonderful movement if you've been sitting in front of the computer or at your desk or driving. So just enjoy that freedom here with the breath. Feel as if you're trying to make your elbows touch behind your back on that exhale. Let's do one more. Keeping it nice and simple. Good, now from here, inhale, raise the arms and you're gonna hook the thumbs above your head and take uh, a few movements here, it doesn't matter which direction, as if you're creating a halo around the top of your head. Doesn't matter which direction, as I said, and not with any particular breath to begin with, just get into the movement. I've stolen this from a kettlebell workout I did earlier in the week. And we have a kettlebell above our head, a little bit dangerous, so I'm glad we're doing it without the kettlebell this evening. So just switch and go the other way. But I really enjoyed the movement and it felt wonderful in the upper body. And then see if you can create bigger circles now. So go back in the direction you did first and start to make bigger movements and sort of, I'll turn this way so you can see, just sort of hinging forwards and backwards. So you get a forward bend, a backward bend, as if the circles are going kind of around you now. And then that movement is going to become even bigger. You're gonna start coming towards the floor, up the sides, back and down. So make these circles as big as possible now. Keep going in the same direction. Good, just with the breath, you can exhale down, inhale, come up. Okay, make this your last one and meet back up at the top and then switch direction. Start off small to begin, around the head, and then start taking it bigger as we did in the other direction. So just getting lots of movement through the side waist. Should feel really lovely here. You have a little bend through the knees. Make it to the breath. Inhale to come up, exhale to go down. Down towards the floor now. You've got the forward bend, you've got the back bend. Wonderful, just keep breathing, keep moving. Let's make this the last one. And then we back up at the top. Take an inhale, and on your out breath, you're gonna take the hands behind the back together in a fist. Have a little wriggle there into your shoulders. And then we'll fold it forward. So I'm gonna turn sideways, inhale, look up. Slowly bend the knees. Take it all the way down, and arms overhead. So keep a bend in the knees, just find the release through the shoulders. Breathe deeply. In and out through the nose, but if you need more release, take the sigh out from an open mouth. <sighs> take one more breath. And then inhale, slowly come all the way back up. Arch back and exhale. Then switch the grip of the fingers, so just shuffle them along. Come forward again, but slightly different. So inhale, look up, bend through your knees, coming all the way down. And just listen to my cues, because you'll be able to see the computer. Just straighten your right leg, deeply bend the left, and it's like a little twist. You look beyond your right shoulder up to the ceiling. So right leg straight, left leg bent, you look up, breathe. Keep squeezing the palms together as best as you can. One more breath, and then back to center. Bend the right deeply, straighten out the left. Look beyond the left shoulder to the ceiling. Breathe here, almost like a little twist. One more breath, and then back down. From here, bend the knees, drive yourself all the way back up to stand. Again, a little back bend. 
Um, excellent. So you're at the top of the map. Let's keep flowing here through our sun salutation. So hands at your heart. Lovely big inhale, get tall, lengthen. Exhale, swallow, dive down, hands towards the floor. Inhale, look up. You're going to come back to plank and hold it here. Tight, straight body. Three breaths, breathing one. Engage the thighs, breathing two. And three, exhale, lower chaturanga onto the floor. Inhale, ripple up into your up dog. And then tuck the toes back and go into downward facing dog. So look at your hands, make sure you're spreading through the fingers. And then on this first one, look back to the feet and start marching the legs there. Bending one leg, straighten the other. I know you can feel tight, so just take your time. I like to inhale as I transition, exhale as I sink the heel. Inhale, transition, exhale, sink the other heel. Just enjoy that up and down with the breath. And we'll stay now with the right leg straight, left leg bent. A couple of breaths here. You see how it feels opening up on this side of the body. And then just switch over left leg, sink the heel. One more breath. Great, then look forward, step both feet forwards. On the inhale, you look up. The exhale takes you down, just melt down towards your legs. Inhale, float up, arms wide, find that lightness, that lift. And exhale, hands quietly down to your heart. Great, let's go again, so inhale. Scoop in the belly as you exhale, dive down. Inhale, look ahead. Jump if you feel you need to, or step, find the plank. Three breaths, one. So really pull up through the chest, strong across the shoulder blade, breathing two. Whole body tight and strong, and three. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lifting. And back you go, down the facing dog. So you set your down dog here now. Have a slight bend in the knees. Or if it's good, keep the legs straight. And let's breathe here. Let's take three breaths to begin. Breathing one. Breathing two. And three. Then inhale, step or jump it forwards, gaze up. Exhale, head to legs. Inhale, raise the arms, find that lightness, rise up, look up and hands to your heart in a prayer position here. Great, let's go again, inhale. Keep it flowing, exhale. This time we're gonna go all the way through. Inhale, look ahead. So you step or jump, and then exhale as you lower. Inhale to lift, and exhale down the facing dog. So if it works for you, try and straighten out the legs, pull up your kneecaps, pull up the thighs. Enjoy the breath, breathing one, let the mind feel calm, breathing two. Lovely long spine as you breathe, three. Breathing out all the tension from the day. Breathing four. I think I said three breaths, but we'll do five. One more. And inhale, jump if you feel frisky. Exhale, head to legs. Inhale as you rise up. Find that lightness, that length in the body. Exhale as you centre hands at heart. Once more, all the way through, breathing in. All the breath out as you dive down towards the earth. Inhale, look ahead. Find yourself back in plank and then exhale, lower to the floor. Inhale, little lift up dog. And then back you go into the down dog. So really engage the belly. Keep the navel in and up towards the spine. Find your breath again, let's go for five. Lovely long exhale, one. Enjoy opening up the body in this way, taking space between the vertebrae, two. Lengthen your spine is the primary focus here as you breathe, three. Head heavy, feel that rush of blood to your brain as you breathe, four, head below the heart, and five. Inhale, separate jump it forwards. Exhale, head to legs. And then inhale, you're coming up, take your time. Hands to your heart, exhale. So stay at the top of your mat, separate the feet, hips width apart. Inhale, reach up. Those first two fingers come forwards out and down. 
grab a hold of the big toes. So we can all get there. You just might need a bit of a deeper bend in the knees. Palm space in. Inhale, look up. And then exhale, take yourself down. So again, elbows can go wide or they can point backwards. Breathe here, five counts. One, crown of your head pressing towards the mat as you breathe, two. Keep the weight in the balls of your feet, breathing three. So you might feel like you're kind of toppling forwards. Breathing four, last breath, make it count. And five, inhale, look up, great. Now. Work with the wrists, tuck the hands under the front of the feet to palms face up, and you want the toes to touch the other side of the wrist. So again, you might need to bend the knees, let the chest rest on the thighs. If you can, straighten up the legs. Don't worry where you are, just feel it. Inhale, look up. Exhale, coming down. So it's all about how far you go. It's about feeling the posture, allowing your nervous system to kind of relax into it, and then the stretch will come. We'll take two more breaths. Breathing four, don't fight it, just feel it. And five, lovely stretch for the whole back body. Inhale, look up. Exhale, catch the waist. And then inhale, come all the way up, arch your back. Exhale to release, wonderful. So another little sun salutation from here, well, not one we normally do, so just work with me. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, fold it forwards. Inhale, look up and set your left foot back into a lunge. Keeping that back heel lifted. We then inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up. Inhale, front pull the right arm forwards, hand to the floor, legs are straight. Exhale, chin to the shin. Inhale, step both feet forwards, look up. Exhale, head to legs. Inhale, raise the arms, reach up, look up, and hands to the heart. Great, the other side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold it forwards. Inhale, look up. Exhale, right foot back into a lunge. Inhale, raise the arms. Exhale, right hand down, left arm up. You look to the left hand. Inhale, front crawl the left hand forwards, legs straighten, and then exhale, lay yourself down, pyramid pose, chin to shin. Inhale, step both feet forwards, look up. Exhale, melt the body down, head to legs. Inhale, raise the arms, reach up, and hands to your heart, exhale. One more either side, but we won't pause between, so let's go. Inhale. Exhale, all that breath out. Inhale, look up, step left foot back into a lunge. Inhale, raise the arms, strong legs. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up. Inhale, you front pull that right hand forwards, legs straighten. Exhale, pyramid pose, chin to shin. Inhale, both feet join together at the top, look up. Exhale, melt the body down, head to legs. Inhale, raise the arms, coming up, but keep flowing. Exhale, take the hands all the way down towards the floor. Inhale, look up. Exhale, right foot back in the lunge. Inhale, raise those arms. Exhale, right hand down, left arm lifts. Inhale, take that left hand to the floor, frame the foot. Exhale, pyramid pose, chin to shin. Inhale, both feet at the top of the mat. Exhale, melt the body down. Inhale, raise the arms, rise up, find the lightness. Hands to your heart, exhale. Great, well done. Let's step out sideways on the mat here and turn the feet slightly inward. So a little bit of movement to keep the heart rate up from here. So just work with me. Inhale, raise the arms. As you exhale, you bend the knees, you do a little double bounce. And then you inhale, come back up. So take it slow. Exhale, you come down, crisscross the arms, and back up. So keep it steady. Keep the weight going down into the heels. Exhale to take you down. Inhale to lift up. But I want the little double bounce in between to strengthen through the legs. Strong for your knees. 
and full deep breath. From that inhale, really just fill the lungs. And on the exhale, you can breathe out with an open mouth. Not worrying about what you sound like. Make a big sound on that exhale. Wonderful. Just clearing the lungs. A couple more. Great, let's make this the last one. And release, good, excellent from here. So a uh, circular motion, similar like we did at the beginning, hook your thumbs, take the arms above the head. Inhale to begin where you lengthen and drop down, go over your right foot, cross the mat, inhale up and to the left. Let you keep that going. So working in the mobility around your lower back, the side waist, and bend in the knees if you need to. And always link it to the breath. So exhale to come down, inhale to come up. And if you're feeling um, like you've got mobility, you can add the back bend. So you can kind of roll back and then take it down. Make this the last one. Pause, take an inhale, switch, go the other way. And let these circles be as big as possible. Enjoy the breath. Enjoy the movement, working the body in all directions here. Back bend, forward bend, the twisty bit when you come to the feet. Good, last couple. Wonderful, last one. And then release. From here, we'll come down into a squat. So I want the toes slightly turned out, 11 and 1 o'clock. Try and get this 90 degree angle with the legs and hold your hands at your heart here. Now let's stay position. We'll just take a couple of breaths, keep your tailbone scooping under, a little bit like your flat back up against a wall. Just feel it there. Strong legs, long spine. Keep breathing, press those palms together. One more breath. Good, and then inhale, rise up, just work with me. Exhale, release it down. And as you come up, cross the arms, you see there, cross the wrist. Breath in and exhale. Beautiful, just keep that going. We're just gonna do a couple, just throwing a few different things at you. So I've been working on, on more kind of Qigong energy type stuff. Not so much kind of the force, but more chill in the body, getting the energy flow. Deep breath in and out. Let's make this the last one. And release, wonderful. Bring the legs together and just give a bit of a body a shake out. Whoa, well, find your balance. One leg, one arm, the other side. Okay, and then we'll come back to some posture work. So right foot out. Um, yeah, right foot out, left foot in. We'll do a little bit of triangle, so hands to your hips. Take that in breath, and then as you exhale, remember that right hip is pressing to the back foot. Slowly coming down, keep a nice long spine, keep reaching out through the crown of the head. Gently drop the right hand down and the left arm. So it doesn't matter which bit of the mat you're pointing to, just make sure you're working the right side. Everybody gaze to that top thumb. Get a couple of breaths already. So let's start at three. Every exhale, squeeze your belly, breathing four. Opening up the underside of that right leg. And five, fabulous, pull yourself back up. Let's go around to the left. So remember there's a slight micro bend in that left knee. Don't lock the leg out, little bend. Take the time to stack up the hips. Left hip pressing to the back foot, right hip on top. It's almost like your tailbone needs to point up. Slowly come down, settle yourself into the pose. And use your lungs, fill them to keep you kind of buoyant in the posture. You're not slumping with gravity. Gaze up to the top thumb, settle into it. Let's go from three. Inhale, fill the chest. Exhale, squeeze your belly. Really good. Four. One more. And five. Great. Inhale, pull yourself back up. Relax the arms. We'll go back out to the right. Stronger variation. You're either going to go out with both arms or you can take the top arm overhead. So take your time. Stack up the legs. Use your core muscles. Really strong in the side waist. So you're either there with both arms reaching out or the right hand down, left arm overhead, you choose. Let's go, breathing two. 
You can spin your gaze, look up, breathing three, press into the feet, breathing four, and five. Inhale, pull up, excellent. Relax the arms, let's go the other side. Take your time, press into the feet, get the hips stacking. You choose which variation you want. Either right arm overhead or both arms reaching out. Breathing one, good, keep focus. Two, keep breathing, squeeze the belly on the exhale. Three, four, can you look up beyond the arm to the ceiling? And five, inhale, pull up and relax. Okay, let's go back to the right. Side angle pose, so find the 90 degrees in that right leg. Gently rest the forearm against the knee, so you're working the knee wide to the side. We'll just go straight up on this first one. So take your gaze to the top thumb, breathe one. Really engage the left thigh muscles, glue them to the bone, two. Stay focused, frame, relax, three. Staying calm, four. You lunge a little deeper. And five, great, pull yourself back up. Other side. Make sure that left knee is tracking out, don't let it fall in. It'll do that because your hips are tight, but you need to work the hips open. Find the distance that feels good for you. Forearm gently resting, engage your belly, and straight up now with the right arm. Energetically reaching one, gazing to your thumb, breathing two. Can you relax the toes? Breathing three, relax your face, four, and five. Good, pull yourself back up. Same thing like we did with the triangle. You can either take the top arm overhead, or we're gonna shoot out with both hands. So strong legs, square your hips to face me. And then when you're ready, you choose either both arms or one arm. Breathing one, and spin your gaze, look up, two, Strong legs, three, press into the feet, four, really good, last breath, and five, press out of it. Brilliant, other side, I know it's challenging, so good for you. Let's go the other side. Get your breath, deep lunge. So you've got this lovely diagonal line. If you pinned yourself for your video, you should be able to see that alignment in your own body. Reach out here, breathe one. Keep that left knee tracking out, two, but spin your belly to face me. Three, look to the ceiling. Four, good, one last breath. And five, excellent, pull yourself back up. And when you're ready, big stride, both feet together at the front. Great, okay, so let's work on our balance from here. You still face that way. I'm gonna turn so you can see me. You're gonna hold onto your right knee. If you want more, you can grab the right big toe. More still is to extend the leg. You're gonna go forward, side, and back to forwards. So when you're ready, come up, focus on something, and breathe. One, stand nice and tall. Two, shoulders soft. Three, four, and five. Brilliant, now out to the side. Good, keep your chest lifted and breathe. One, Lovely long spine, two, well done, keep that focus, three. If you want more challenge, you can gaze to the left, four, and five, and then gaze and the leg from back to center, straighten it out, one, press the heel towards me, two, brilliant, hold it strong, three, higher, four, and five, release it down. Great, Whew. other side, okay. I've got the left knee. And try and keep, um, just look this way a minute. When you're holding the knee or the foot, try not to let the leg pull you down. Keep the spine um, straight and a little bend in that left arm to keep the knee or the leg closer towards you. So you're keeping that left shoulder back. Don't let the left shoulder hunch forwards. One, two, keep standing tall as you breathe three. Pull up the muscles on the right thigh, up to the hip, be supportive, four and five. Out to the side we go, one. If you want more, gaze right, two. Chest lifted, breathe deeply, three, four 
and five. Excellent. Back to centre. Now press that left leg towards me. Press the heel. One. Try not to lean back. If anything, forwards. Two. Good. Squeeze the leg up. Three. Keep working. Four. And five. Well done. Release it down. Just give the legs a good kick out. Almost like you've got a shoe on that you're trying to flick off. Good. Big kicks. Both sides. Great, okay, let's move back at the front of the mat. Let's keep moving. So with your inhale, reach up, arch it back. All that breath out as you fold forward. And you're gonna meet here, hands on the floor. Work with me. Do a little squat and you look up. And then exhale, straighten the leg, the head drops down. And repeat, you inhale, you bob up. Exhale, head down. So you find a rhythm that works for you. Inhale up, exhale down, just a little bit of hamstring. Um, flexibility work. A couple more times. Great. Okay, so from here now, just heel toe the feet out a little bit more. We're going to work on our crow pose, Bakasana. So arm balancing. Spread your fingers. You want to, you can put a cushion out in front of you. And it's about a forearm length that your hands need to be in front of your feet. Make contact with your knees to the back of the arm for the armpits. We'll just see what it feels like to dive the weight forwards. You don't actually, I'll come back a bit. You don't actually have to lift the feet off the floor. Just dive forwards. Don't look down, look forwards. That's it. Spread the fingers. And if you want a little bit more challenge, you can try and lift the feet. Stay focused. Breathe. Back off when you're ready. And then drop the feet to the floor. And from here, go a little bit wider if you need to. Turn the feet out slightly. And we're going to drop down to squat to the floor from here. So you go through your squat, if your knees allow, and bump down to the mat. Great. Okay, so from here, pull the flesh out from under the sit bones. A nice simple forward fold. Inhale, reach up. Use that warmth, that heat in the body as you take yourself forwards and down. Hold the shuffle back. So you hold wherever you can, whether it's your shins, your ankles, or your feet. Let your inhale lengthen. Exhale to come down. So work with your own breath here now. Find the buoyancy in the pose. You're not fixed, you're not rigid. Breath in the body allows you to go deeper. So work on that exhale. Looking towards your big toes. One more breath. Great, then slowly pull yourself up. Just do a few shoulder rolls. Just feel that awareness of the shoulders dropping down, not hunching up. So we're gonna go once more. So when you're ready, inhale, rise up. Take it a bit further if you can this time. Maybe hands around the soles of the feet or the tops of the feet. Inhale, let your spine lengthen. Exhale, go a little deeper. Take five breaths. One. Contract the belly as you exhale. Breathing two. Yeah, really good. Keep working there as you breathe. Three. Lengthening the inner seam of your legs. So you press out through big toes. Four. Last breath. And five. Inhale, come up. Let's find the back bend. Core bottom asana. Remember, index finger, first finger points forwards. Externally rotate the upper arm and the shoulders. We're going to point the toes and then just throw the hips high. Breathing one. Good. Stay strong. Two. Keep the hips lifted. Three. Toes to the mat. Four. Lift, lift, lift. And a five release. Brilliant. Cross the legs. Hands down. Do a little step or jump back. Exhale, lower. Find your flow. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And then quietly step or jump through to seated. I'll turn to face you. So Janu Shishasana. Keep it simple. Right foot to the inner left thigh. Take an inhale to reach up. And exhale to come forwards and down. So wonderful stretch on the right side of the body there. Hold wherever you can. If you want to, go to the outside edge of the foot. But just as with the forward bend, inhale, find the length. Exhale, 
coming down. Work with your breath, breathing two. Exhaling three. Good, really good. Keep working now, feel it. Go to your edge. And then on the last breath, see if you can take it deeper. And five. Inhale coming up. We'll take it into the back bend. So the right hand now comes behind you. Throw yourself up. Let the left arm spin around, hips lift, hang here. One. Take those hips high. Two. Roll through the front body. Three. Head drops back. Four. And five. Release. Sit back down. Great. To the other side. Left foot to the inner right thigh. Square the body to face the front. Take an inhale. And then exhale, coming down. So look into the big toe. Every posture has a drishti, a gazing point that we're hopefully focusing on to keep the mind in the moment. So here, most of the four bends, it's the big toe. So try and keep looking there. Breathing one, not judging the state of your pedicure. Breathing two, or your frostbitten toe, in my case, from too much cold water swimming. Breathing three, two more breaths. Four, last one. And five, excellent. So left hand now, drop that to the floor behind you, gonna pop up onto the left knee, throw the hips up, spin the chest open and look up. Breathe one, hang back here, two, Hips high, three, good, enjoy the front body stretch, four, lift and lift, and five, release back down. Okay, do your little jump back. So cross your legs, hands down, circle jumping, chat around you if you want that, or to the floor, up dog on the inhale, down dog on the exhale, and we're gonna come through the seated. Okay, so simple twist, legs out in front, you're going to take your right leg up and over the left. When you're hugging with your left arm, right hand goes behind you. So we're all gazing over the right shoulder. If you've got the mobility, have that elbow on the other side of the knee, the left elbow, so your hands up like you're stopping traffic. And make sure you're really tipping on the front edge of the pelvis. Don't want to see anybody slouching back. Okay, a lovely posture here. And gaze over the right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Really simple. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. You just keep working with your body, wringing out your spine, massaging your internal organs. Got two more breaths, make them count. Breathing four and five. Good. Let's stay the same. Do a little de rotate around the other side, right arm in front of that right leg. Just a couple of breaths, looking over your left shoulder. One more. Great, look forwards and release. So now we'll do the left leg. Left foot over the right thigh. Bring your right arm to the other side of that knee. Spin your gaze over your left shoulder. And take your five breaths. Good, enjoy the twist, breathing one. I know it's hard to breathe, but you're making one lung work harder. So it's really good for your lung health here. Breathing two, three. Can you gaze a little further, focus on something? Four, bring out the spine, last breath. And five, look forwards. Keep the legs as they are, a little de-rotate round to the right. And let the breath fill into the area but the kind of the right armpit here, this upper right part of the chest. You don't have to breathe up here so much, so use that part of the lungs. You feel that? One more breath. Right, look forward to make sure that foot's upright and not asleep, and then you can release. Jump back, cross the legs, keep the flow, really simple, lift the movement to the breath, exhale to lower. Inhale, you stretch your front body, Exhale, you stretch your back body, and then it's back through to seated. Okay, so a little bit of core work from here. Hold on to the knees, find the balance on your sit bones here. You're going to take the arms just straight up past the ears, 
You know, if you want more, you just need to lift the feet. Let's go for three breaths. One. Breathing two. And three. Excellent. Hands down, cross the legs. Remember, look at the alignment of my arm. Shoulders rock forwards. And then you scooch up the belly. Let's try that again. Press down, scooch up. And let's go again. This time, we're going to twist. So the arms come up. Left arm forwards, right arm back. Try and gaze to the back hand for three. One. Good. Look at the thumb. Two. And three. Reach up before you drop down. And then try and lift the buttocks. Press down and lift. And then just finally the other side. So when you're ready, find the balance. Arms up. Twist. Look along the left arm to the thumb and breathe. One. Reach through fingertips. Two. One more breath, really good. And three, reach up, hands down, cross, lift, and jump back. Just because we can and we're all super fit and healthy, exhale, lower, enjoy that. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And then come through seated. Okay, so with your feet flat, knees bent, just lower yourself all the way back to the mat. And have a lovely big good old stretch here. Point your toes, extend through your fingers. And then just release. From lying on the floor, we're going to stretch right and then left side of the body. So the right leg lifts up an inch, the right arm lifts up an inch, and you just reach out. Breathe there for three, one. Every exhale, pull your belly down. Two and three. All limbs relax. Then it's the left side, left leg, right arm, up an inch and extend. One, two, and three. Then we're going to go back. So let's go right leg, left arm, lift and reach for three. One, two, and three, let go. The other diagonal, reach out for three. One, two, good. Pull your belly down. And three, great. So from here now, we're going to do both legs and both arms. On the inhale, you lift them up, but you look towards the toes. Exhale, you drop it back down. So I like to work with hooking thumbs that we've done already this evening. So when you're ready, inhale, lift the limbs, look to the toes. Exhale, release. One, good, go again. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Two, go to five, up. Exhale, three, keep it going. Four, last one, lift. And five, well done. Nice and loosely, no pressure here. A lovely, simple rock around, easing into your lower back, your kidneys. One of the most therapeutic. Movements I know. Take your time. Okay, so from here, a little bit more core work still. You're going to take the legs straight up to the ceiling. Separate the feet out, do a couple of ankle rolls here. That always feels good to free up any stuck energy in the ankle joints. Wiggle the toes. Okay, and then we're going to go up and down. So hands under the buttocks, palms down. If you're feeling strong, the hands can come to the side. Or if you're feeling even more strong, the arms come above your head, but don't do that if you've got lower back issues. So let's go, inhale to begin. You exhale lower to where you feel it. And then inhale, pop the legs straight back up. So you go at your own pace, exhale to lower, inhale to come back up. But all the while, keep the belly pulling down. So don't let the lower back lift. You, you shouldn't be able to scoot your hands underneath the lower back, there should be no space there. So no matter how far you go, I can see from my video, I'm not going very far at all, but I'm really feeling that in the belly. Better to have great form than to go low to the floor and just lose the alignment in your lower back. Then let's do a couple more. Glue those legs together. And this next one, let's just hold it. Because we can, breathe for three. One, you pull up the pelvic floor, you pull down your belly. Two, and three, back up. Either take a rest or do one more, you choose. Three breaths, one, two, 
and three back up. Really good, well done. Hug those knees in. Fabulous. Okay, so a little bit of back bending to stretch through those abdominal muscles that you've been strengthening. So make sure your heels are close into your body, but the hips width apart. And we'll go up and down with breath. Just simple to begin. Up on the inhale, exhale it down. So you be aware of the muscles that are kind of firing up to lift you up. The buttocks, the back of the thighs. Strengthening the back body whilst opening up the front body. Good. Keep your knees working inwards. Don't let them splay out. And on this next one, hold it. The hips lifted, but take the arms overhead. Keep the gaze to the ceiling and breathe for five. One. Wiggle your toes for me. Let them feel soft. Breathe two. And then can you press down into your heels a bit more? Three. Squeeze up the buttocks. Four. Chest and heart open. Lift, lift, lift. And five. Release back down. Just bob the knees side to side. Kind of windscreen wiper them one way and the other. Before we go again. Okay, so back to centre. This time you're going to have hands clasped underneath the back. So when you're ready, lift the hips, scooch arms underneath, interlace fingers, super glue the palms together. One, toes relaxed, breathing two, heaving three, four, drive the hips higher, last breath, and release back there. And good again. Windscreen wipe for the legs side to side. Again, another really lovely therapeutic posture for the lower back. You can move the breath. And let's meet back in the middle again. Now you can either do a wheel pose or you can repeat the posture we've just done, but shuffle the grip of the fingers. So you figure out what you want this evening. I know where I'm headed, the easier version. So up we go into those fingers. And breathe here. Even this is still so strong and great for the body. One, energizing postures of the back bend is breathing. Two, find the height on the inhale. Three, good. Last two breaths, make them count. Four, and five, release. Wonderful. This time we'll hug the knees into the chest. Again, have a nice little relax, roll around. And we come into a twist from here. So, for those of you that can get the Kind of twisty legs, create that. One leg over the other, we'll do the right leg over the left. If that doesn't work, just have the legs side by side and everybody drop the legs to the left. So you've got right leg over the top, but you're going to the left. Legs go left and then your gaze goes right. And just breathe here. I like to work in this pose with eyes closed and just get into the feeling. I know it can be intense, but open your mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> Try and anchor the right shoulder down as best you can. Right cheek onto the floor. Let's take one more lovely big breath. In fact, another one, it feels so good. Okay, and then slowly unravel. Up you come. Take the legs the other way, left over right, or just simply stacking all the way over to the right with the legs. And then you're gazing left. And once you've found the posture, you can close your eyes and get into feeling. It's not about the shape that you create. Yoga is about the feeling that you have when you're in the pose. How does it feel? Listening to the feedback your body gives you. If you can take it further, breathe out the tension and go there. The knees come all the way across. Long exhale with an open mouth helps. Last breath. And then slowly unravel. Really, really good. Bring the knees to your chest. Excellent. Okay, so from here we'll do the figure of four pose. So your right ankle is coming on top of your left knee, but the key point is this foot is flexed. So don't let it go limp, press the heel away. That's gonna protect your right knee. And then everybody, you reach through the gap with the right hand and you hug underneath the left knee or thigh, come back to the mat. 
So with your inhale, you're backing off, and your exhale, you're squeezing the left leg in. Inhale, you back off, exhale, squeezing in. So you work here. When you breathe out, it's a chance for your muscles to release and for you to go deeper. So make sure you get the breath right. Inhale, back off. Exhale to squeeze in. Good. Really linger at the end of the out breath. Let's do one more. And back off. Find it on the other side. Just set it up. And on the knee, hold under the left thigh with the left knee, and then head drops back down. You inhale back off, exhale, squeezing in. Take your time, relax your face, relax your jaw. A couple more rounds of the breath here. Really good. Feel it opening up the outer left thigh and hip. Last one. And release. Okay. So get right tight around the legs. In a moment, when we inhale, you're going to squeeze everything tight. In the exhale, back off three times. So from here, inhale, squeeze up, scrub your face, your toes, your tummy, hold it tight, tight, tight. Three, two, one, and let go. Good. And again, inhale, squeeze up, hold it there, nice and tight. Squeeze four, three, two, one, and release. And last one, inhale, squeeze up, hold everything tight, every muscle squeezing, five, four, three, two, one, and let go. With ankles crossed, arms around the outside of your legs, hands over the tops of the feet. See if you can get a bit of momentum, hold onto the big toes, and rock up. Go a few times, let it be quite playful, right back onto your shoulder blades. And to meet at the front and you can tuck the feet underneath, come straight into your plank before you lower on the out breath. Inhale your last upward dog, exhale back into your last downward dog here. So find the pose, feel alert yet relaxed, Sira Sukha Asana, alert yet relaxed posture and take five deep breaths. Inhale, inflate, Exhale, sigh it out. Good, breathing one. Just stay in that down dog, enjoy the stretch. Breathing two. Lovely long exhale, three. Stay focused on the breathing, slow it down. Breathing four. One last breath. And five, good, then inhale, look forward. Step the feet forward any which way you can. We're gonna finish with a simple bit of Vadakonasana. So soles of the feet together, bound angle pose. You either have the hands in to open the feet up, hands behind you here. Take five breaths. Inhale, long spine. And exhale, you're nudging the body forwards. Feel your breath in your body, that cyclical motion of the breathing. Let the breath create balance in your body. Inhale the oxygen, exhale the carbon dioxide. Let the breath cleanse you. Good, take one more breath. And then inhale, slowly coming up. Last one. Drop those feet away from you, so create this lovely big diamond shape. And in a relaxed way here now, imagining a big pile of cushions in front of you. Inhale, reach up, let yourself kind of flop down. You can allow the spine to round because we're not moving with any force in this pose. More yin, more relaxed, and breathe here. Head heavy, arms heavy. Can you inflate the back? Direct the breath there to the lower back ribs. Relax around the kidneys. Three more breaths. Breathing three. You soften your jaw. Let the tongue rest at the roof of your mouth. Breathing four. And just let go. Five. So from here, pull yourself back up. 
find your Shavasana. You can either keep the legs as they are. If you're in your sitting room, you've got cushions to hand, you can pop them underneath the knees. That's really lovely. And lie back or just extend those legs out any which way you can. Everybody just get really comfortable. So moving into the last and most important part of your practice. Giving yourself time to soak up the goodness from the postures. Time for your mind to be Your heart to relax. And your physical body to settle. So make sure that you're warm and comfortable. If you haven't already done so, take a lovely big sigh in through the nose, out through the mouth. And I'd like you to choose one part of your body where you're fully aware of your breath sensations and stay focused there. Might be the rise and fall of your belly. Taking deep abdominal breaths. Or it might be the expansion and contraction of your rib cage. Feeling the movement here. You might even notice the breath around the tip of your nose, your nostrils. Observing the coolness of the air as it enters your body warmth of your breath as it leaves. You choose. You choose where you want to keep your focus. Let your mind alight there. And let your breath slow right the way down. And every time you notice that your mind is somewhere else, jump into the past or the future, thinking or planning or daydreaming. Let the thought go and come back to your body, into that part of the body where you're really feeling the breath. And stay focused there. Each and every time, just keep bringing your focus back. Giving your breath your full attention Each breath so different from the last, each breath so individual. Focus with awe. Like you might observe a snowflake or a sunset or a sunrise. Keep following your breathing. Enjoy this time, steering your mind towards a sense of peace. Each breath that you take, feeling more relaxed than you normally are. Your body more settled than you normally are. Your mind that little bit more peaceful than you normally are. Leaving everything that is not yet still completely alone. Stay with your breathing, smooth, gentle rhythm to the breath. Keep in the moment, if you're drifting off, past or future, come back. Be present with your breath. And 
Last couple of minutes, just settling in. Not forcing, not controlling your breathing in any way. Just free breathing. And even though there might be some parts of you that feel agitated or disturbed, moving towards that place within where you feel undisturbed. That place is always there. Just sometimes gets masked by the busyness of the day to day. So see if you can take a rest now in that undisturbed part of your body. Enjoy the sense of calm and ease. One last minute. And from that part of your body where you're focusing on, see if you can expand your awareness of your breath as if your whole body is breathing. Feel as if you're breathing right out to your skin. Each and every cell in your body is breathing in and out. So you breathe a little fuller, a little deeper. And then you take your awareness beyond your body, so you then become aware of your body and its relationship and the contact with your mat, with the floor. The sense of the space around you. Maybe an awareness of the temperature of the air, the cool or the warmth. Being aware of yourself in the room that you're in building that you're in. So taking your awareness then beyond the building to outside the cool of the, the winter night. Becoming aware now of the moment. Tuning into any sounds that you might be hearing, whether they're pleasant or unpleasant. Just listen. Awakening your sense of hearing. And then keeping your head still, just flutter your eyes open. Just blink a little, get used to the light. And as I said, head still, but you can move your eyes around. Just look at things, taking the light, awakening your sense of sight. And then blink, blink, blink. Let your eyes rest and then bring movement into the body, wriggling your fingers, wriggling your toes. It's quite nice to just rub your thumbs over the tips of the fingers there, feel that sensation of touch. And then let's awaken right the way up with a big inhale, raise your arms all the way overhead, stretch your body out there, lengthen. One last stretch before you bring your knees into your chest. Hugging your knees in. And then making your way quietly up to seated. Easy cross legs. Take your time. And just enjoy that renewed spinal leg, the ease in your shoulders. The lightness through the head. As you bring your hands to your heart space, just closing eyes for a moment here in gratitude, thankful for your fit, healthy body that's carried you through your practice. Hopefully feeling more balanced in your heart and more calm and peaceful in your mind. 
Namaste. Namaste, everybody. Thank you. Hope you feel okay. A little bit different this evening, so just trying to challenge you a little bit. Um, so have a lovely rest of the evening and week. And I'll see you next Wednesday. Yay! Bye all, thank you.